Hi, my name is Jesse. I'm a fiddle player and a fiddle teacher, and I'm making this series of videos for my students and anyone else who finds them useful, um, just about bowing patterns in fiddle music. So this is the this is the second video in a series of videos. So if you haven't watched the first one yet, you might want to, and I'll I'll put the link to the whole series of videos in the description below me. So. Um, so this is a video about a bowing pattern that I call the shuffle, and probably every bowing pattern has been called the shuffle at one time or another. So there's no, there's no official nomenclature for uh, what these bowing patterns are called, um, but this is the one I call the shuffle, and it's this one. It goes like this. So I say, you can say down, shuffle, up, shuffle, down, shuffle, up, or you can say long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Um, that's the bowing pattern I'm talking about here, and it's a really useful one because, um, as we were talking about in the previous video, um, if you do all single bows, uh, if you put a nice lilt in your playing, you're going to fall off the tip of your bow. Um, but if you're doing this bowing pattern, you won't have that problem because it keeps you right in the center of the bow the whole time. So, um, the way to do it is, um, let's, let's apply it to this little um, template that we were talking about. You're going to just go... What's happening there is the first that first long note um, is actually a slur. So you're going to start on a down bow on that open D note, and you're going to keep the bow going as you put down your first finger on the E. So you slur those two notes together. The next two notes in the template are you just do on on single bows. But now you're going to do another slur, and this time it's going to come on the up bow. And it's the same two notes, um, open D and, open, uh, and, and E. And you can just keep that going indefinitely. What you don't want to do is you don't want to forget to lilt it, so it shouldn't sound like this. It should sound like this difference, it's got that little swing to it that's part of what makes fiddle music sound so great. Um, so don't leave out the lilt, and don't forget to tap your foot with it, and I just want to emphasize how crucial that is. You're not really doing it until you're tapping your foot with it. Um, you're not getting the benefit of the exercise unless you're tapping your foot with it. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it can be really hard for some people, um, and if you need to just kind of practice the mechanics of it without tapping your foot, of course, go ahead and do that. But have your goal be to really do it while you're tapping your foot, and remember um, the the when you're doing it along with this little template, it's really easy because the foot taps always come on the open D notes. So you, you can hopefully hear my my stomping shoes stomping on the down beats. <laughs> Practice it until you can tap your foot with it. Even if it's months or years of practicing, it, uh, it, it's worth it, um, and you'll get it eventually. Practice it slow for as long as you need to, but don't be afraid to speed it up too, because eventually you want to learn how to play it fast, and at some point it's good to just try it fast and see if you can do it. So then when you want to put it into a tune, uh, this is a bowing pattern that works in uh, just about any tune that's in four or two. Um, it doesn't work as much in jigs or waltzes, uh, but, uh, but any tune that's in, a, that's in a four or a two rhythm, um, this is a good bowing pattern for. Um, one tune that I really like uh, to use to practice this bowing pattern, if you know Sarah Armstrong's tune, it goes like this. When you play the B part of that tune, if you want, you can just keep that shuffle bowing pattern going the entire time through the B part. It sounds like this. To, you know, if you were playing that tune for a performance, you might vary the bowing a little bit and make it a little bit less monotonous, you know, to uh, not, maybe you wouldn't shuffle it the whole way through for a performance, but just as an exercise to practice the shuffle bowing, um, it's a really good one. Um, you can just keep it going the whole time. Another really good tune uh, to practice that bowing is the fairy dance. If you know that one, it goes like this. I 
and it's really good because the bowing is just built right into the structure of the tune. The first note is a long note, so you don't even have to slur it first. As you go along through the tune, there's a slur. Um, so to keep the bowing going, you're eventually going to need to do some slurs. If you try to do it non-stop through the entire tune, you're gonna wind, you're gonna run into some slurred string crossings. Watch this. You'd have to slur across strings to um, to keep the bowing pattern going there. Um, I. I tend to avoid slurring across strings. There, there are times when you definitely want to, um, but uh, I play fiddle mostly for contra dances, and so it's really, really important to me that, um, that I keep the rhythm steady and that every note comes at exactly the right instant. It's a little hard to just get the note to sound cleanly at exactly the right time when you're slurring into it from a different string. So I like to avoid uh, slurred string crossings in situations like this. So the way you can do that is... single bow your way up that little that little scale and then in the next phrase it'll it'll get you right back into the um, into the bowing pattern so I hope this was useful to you um, leave me a comment if you have any questions I'll be happy to read through the comments and um, answer any questions that I can answer and um, if you really feel like digging into these bowing patterns and really uh, figuring out how to incorporate them into your playing uh, shoot me a message and we can set up some zoom lessons or something like that because um, because uh, I'd be happy to help you out with it um, if you're interested in really figuring out how to how to get these bowing patterns to work for you. Um, so good luck with your fiddle playing. See you next time.